Yo, what is going on, Noodle Nation? It's your boy back with another video. Uh, the topic of this video uh, is actually going to be how I got my gamer tag. This has been the most popular question in my stream, is, and it's been a long, demanded video. I'm sorry I haven't gotten it to you sooner. Um, but um with the final grind going on i'm uh, i plan on getting 152 this weekend um so i'm focusing a little less on content and trying to get that out and then once i hit 152 i'll have some videos in addition to that as well as some i have planned already so uh that'll that should be all gucci but uh right now you are watching a free for all match sorry it is in um, theater mode. I wasn't recording this at the time, cause, uh, but I actually had a decent day in free for all. This was like one of the final few games on Onyx. Usually, I just play free uh, free for all until I get Onyx if I'm gonna play it. And I got Onyx. I just get barely Onyx. I don't go any higher. I could, but I don't. Uh, I don't have a want or need to. But anyways, enough uh, blabbering and jabbering. My, uh, the topic of this video is how I got my gamer tag. So, let's start at the beginning. My old gamer tag, my gamer tag right now, if you guys don't know, probably should know that already, but my uh, gamer tag, as you can see in this video, is A Dry Noodle. <coughs> Excuse me. It is A Dry Noodle. And people wonder, that's a really odd tag, and rightfully so. Uh, it's a really odd tag. How did you choose this tag? How it's kind of a weird tag. It's creative and you don't really see uh, a tag like this. And another common question is why not a wet noodle? So basically starting at the beginning, my old gamer tag used to be Balthazar9991. I actually, I remember, I don't remember the numbers, my very first tag when I first got an Xbox account was Poetic Line, and I don't know why uh, it gave me that, it was just more part of the uh, generator thing, it was actually a pretty cool tag, with it, with the exception of the numbers at the end, Poetic Line, kind of weird. So I went with Balthazar9991 because I was a squeaker and I didn't care about legitimacy. Um, and then I had that for a while. I was known as Balthazar throughout um, the beginning, like a, a while through Destiny actually. I was known through as Balthazar throughout Halo 4 and Reach. Um, I really didn't care much about my rat back then, I didn't have one, I'm definitely not, it wasn't as big then as I am now, I didn't have a name, um, but basically I carried that name for many years through, uh, from about 2011 to, let's see, it must have been early 15, so late 14, 2014 or early 2015. I was known as Balthazar9991, and then I decided, uh, I'd done a lot in Destiny, I figured, uh, you know, I want a more legit tag. I want a tag without numbers. But not only do I want a tag without numbers, I want a tag that achieves two things. One, when people see it, they have to see that it's legit. It's it's a legit tag, no numbers in it. Two, I want it to inspire curiosity of why someone would pick this tag and start a conversation. And that it did. I get a whole bunch of messages about um, this tag. I've actually gotten an offer recently, about a month ago. Some kid messaged me saying, like, hey, uh, I just... No intro, he said, I will give you $650 for that tag. I didn't respond back, and he said he responded back two hours later with, please. So, I don't know, but uh, that's just kind of sound funny. But anyways, basically, I was still known as Balthazar9991 at the time, um, and I really wanted a different tag. So, what I did is I got a group of three or four friends together. We sat in a party for over an hour deliberating over tags. Now at the time, I was huge into Destiny. Um, 
I never knew I would get this big into Halo 5. Uh, but I was huge into Destiny, so a whole bunch of names were coming up. Like, Closed Fist, Unclosed Fist. Um, there were uh, other tags. We were thinking of Destiny references, like Crota. Uh, there were, like, Raid or Jack... Or not Jackal. Um, fuck. I can't remember all the guys in Destiny right now. It's been so long. But, like, we were thinking of the boss names, like, Crota's End was one, level names, gun names, um, just stuff like that. You know how, uh, Ultra Banshee, there's Ultra Banshee in this game, named after the vehicle. That's basically what we were doing in Destiny. And then we, and then I decided, you know what, I want something more universal that I carry over to games. It's not game-specific. It's more unique than that. Uh, something I won't have to change for a while. Because, duh, if I'm going to switch over from Destiny to this, I kind of figured I would switch to a different game eventually. So it's like, well, why stick with Destiny? I may as well um, go to... I'm probably going to switch to a different game. So, uh, from there, I decided, okay, we got to come up with more legit tags. And they're like, okay. Um, and first, we came through, went through a whole bunch of them, but... Um, a wet noodle came up. We wanted to try a wet noodle, and we tried a wet noodle, and that tag is taken. That tag was already taken. Um, so then we tried, I believe we tried, it was considered a moist noodle. Um, I, didn't I didn't really want that, I didn't want it in between. So I decided, okay, we're gonna go with a dry noodle. That tag worked and after about an hour, 10 minutes of deliberation because I wasn't sure if I wanted this tag. I really liked the tag just because it was like a random and legit at the same time and it stuck in your head, which is what I wanted it to do. Um, basically, um, we ended up sticking with it and I've been a dry noodle ever since. Um, and I sort of did it. I made the change randomly too. I didn't tell anybody I was going to do it. It was, uh, I, I kind of told a few of my friends at the time that I was thinking about changing my tag. And they actually found out because I tried to join the party, their party, without them knowing it was me. Of course, this was Xbox 360 days, and being as glitchy as it was, it didn't change my tag for them until, like, a day later. So I, they knew it was me. They knew, like, some for some people it showed up as a dry noodle, other people it showed up as Balthazar, so it was as kind of a surprise as I wanted it to be. But, um, yeah, I've been a dry noodle ever since. Um, that's pretty much my story. Um, basically, uh, a little bonus story for you guys, kind of why I'm not known as Noodle, like, Noodle legit, like, fat noodle, but just noodle and noodles. I did try noodles. When the, a lot of you guys know the um, Xbox tag reset was last year. I can't remember when it was last year exactly. But a lot of people got some really cool tags. Um, and some really OG tags. Um, and I wanted one. I wanted to get... I, did, I knew Sam was going to be taken right away. That was taken almost immediately. Basically, this tag reset... Any tags in the original, taken on the original Xbox and not touched on the 360, any legit tags like that would be reset for other people to use. Basically, accounts that haven't been active in like 10 years. So, uh, a lot of people got some really sweet legit tags, like single letters, double letters. Um, I think Sam was taken, Samuel, uh, those were taken really fast. Um, I, the one I really wanted to try for, I didn't really have a need to or a want to necessarily. It would have been cool, but I didn't have a specific want to do it at the time because I already had a legit tag, so I wasn't really pushing. But I did try, uh, I did look up Noodle and Noodles, and they were Xbox 360 tags meaning that people had played them on the Xbox 360, and thus I couldn't get them because those were not being reset. Um, chances are they haven't been played in years, but uh, they are still active on the 360 at some point, so I was not able to take those tags. 
Um, but yeah, basically that's it. That uh, explains that. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope this uh, clears some uh, questions up for you guys. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.